Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Watch GT4 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the crown button right here. Keep holding the button until you see the Huawei logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, uh, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, you will see this uh, screen. Basically, it tells you to uh, scan the QR code uh, to download the uh, Huawei Health application. And we're just gonna download it um, ourselves on our phone. So, go to your phone, make sure you have the uh, internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do open the uh, web browser, uh, you can use any web browser you like. I'm gonna use Google Chrome. We're using the web browser because we need to download the app gallery, the Huawei app gallery first, and then use the app gallery to download the Huawei Health because the um, Huawei Health application uh, is probably not on the Play Store anymore, or if it is, it's basically outdated and it might not work uh, properly. So let's download the app gallery. To do it, tap on search and type in this address, appgallery.huawei.com. Once you type it in, you will see this page. On this page, tap on the download button right here in the top left corner to download the app gallery. So tap on install. It will download the file. And once it's done, uh, you can tap on the open uh, button when the pop-up comes up. As you can see, it's it's popped up. We can tap on open to open the file. If you don't have the uh, required permissions uh, allowed for the Chrome to open the uh, unknown files, basically the files from the outside the Play Store, tap on the settings it will redirect you to this page, tap on the switch next to allow from this source, and then you will see the pop-up uh, about the app gallery, and you can tap on the install button, and it's gonna start installing the app gallery. Once it's done installing, you can tap on open button to open the app gallery. Tap on next, agree. Allow the permission. And here we have it. This is how the app gallery looks like. Now, tap on search and type in um, Huawei Health. And tap on search. And you should see Huawei Health at the top of the list. And you have the install button next to it. Tap on the install button. Tap on settings. And we need to allow, allow the permission to install unknown apps for the Huawei app gallery. So tap on the switch and go back to the Huawei Health. Tap on the install button next to the Huawei Health again. Now I missed it, so I'm gonna tap right here. And it's gonna start installing the application. Rather downloading the application. Okay, and once it's done downloading, you will need to tap on install uh, to install it. And after the Huawei Health application is done installing, you will see the open button and you can tap on it to open the Huawei Health app. And once the application opens, you will need to select the uh, servi service region. To do it, tap right here scroll through the list, find the region, region you want to use, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select uh, United Kingdom. And then you can tap on Next, tap on Next, Agree. Allow Ordinary ID permission for the physical activity, and at this point you should see the health page of the app. Now tap on Devices, tap on Add Device, oh, my bad, device right here, allow the permission for the location, 
the app will start looking for the nearby devices and it should detect your Huawei Watch GT4. Once it does, tap on link and it will ask you to log in into Huawei ID account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on register. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password. Okay, and after you log in, it will redirect you, or basically it will reopen the app again. So once the app opens, tap on devices, tap on add device. Oh, I've missed it, app device right here. It will start looking for the nearby devices. It should detect your watch again. Once it does, tap on link. Allow or deny the permission for the phone calls. Confirm the pairing on the watch and on the phone. So tap on the check mark, tap on pair. Here, check the box, tap on next. And right here you can check the boxes to enable the auto download updates through the Wi-Fi. Uh, or over Wi-Fi and uh, and also auto install updates if you want. If you want to use these uh, these features, select the boxes and tap on continue. Then uh, we can enable the updates if you want to auto updates. I'm just gonna tap on install updates manually. Then tap on done, continue. And right here we can enable the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. You can tap on enable uh, and then allow required permissions for it to work. If you don't want to do it, you want to keep it disabled, tap on cancel and then tap on OK to continue. I'm going to enable the notifications for the sake of the video. So I'm going to tap on enable and will redirect us to the notification access. Here, find the Huawei Health application, tap on it, tap on the switch next to allow notification access, tap on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you will see the Huawei Health application on the allowed list. You can go back to the app and you will be able to turn on and off the uh, notifications, as you can see. And now we can uh, also customize for which apps the notification notifications should be uh, working. So, for example, let's say you enable the notifications for WhatsApp and you receive notification from WhatsApp on your phone. That notification will be forwarded to your watch if it's enabled right here. If it's disabled, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will only see it on your phone. That's how it works. And once you're done customizing settings, tap on done. OK. Allow or deny the permission for the calendar, uh, call logs and contacts and stuff like that. Basically, if you want to see the notifications up from the about calls, SMS, calendars and stuff like that, you need to allow the permissions. If you don't care, you can keep them denied. Then tap on OK. And at this point, you should see the device page with your Huawei Watch GT4. And also, if you wake up the screen on your watch, you will see and that you can use it. You can go through the tutorial and use your watch. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video. Thank you.